Hello, I'm Wayne with ModularHydro.com. We get an awful lot of emails and phone calls on the CFLs or comp compact fluorescent lighting systems that we use. We're going to show you that today. And we're going to start off with our Celosias growing. And these have been uh, in, in their pots for only 40 days. We transplanted these Celosias. They were only three inches tall in their pots 30 days ago. And look at the explosive growth. Now these are growing in the air injection technology for soil, okay? But the benefits of that is you can use minimal lighting. And we're gonna show you that. We have a 10 and a half inch dome on top. And you can purchase these at Lowe's or Home Depot or Walmart for less than $13, $14. We have one 6500K 100 watt bulb and a 6500 I'm sorry, a 2700K 100 watt bulb. You want to mix those two. What it does is it, it emulates natural sunlight. And we actually have two of these plants growing under one dome. I mean, that, that's pretty phenomenal. Your cost of ownership is very minimal. We'll, we'll go through that in a minute. But growing with the air injection technology for soil, uh, you need just minimal lighting to get this type of explosive growth. And we, our claim to fame is you can grow with AIT in soil with hydroponic growth rates. Now let's move on to case, case scenario number two. Same thing, 100 watt, 100 watt, 2700K, 6500K. Now this is just a little bit different setup. This is air injection technology for soil. We plugged our seeds right in the soil just a couple weeks ago, and we have beautiful red root and basil growing. And you can see on these leaves here, on this one, it's quite large. You can see the red spots coming through. Let's move on to case number three. A little bit different. And we're gonna show you how to put these hoods together. But that'll be at the, at the end of the video. This, we're using a 40 watt and a 60 watt. 6500K ball and a 2700K ball. What it does is it emulates more natural sunlight. I know a lot of people tell you when they're growing with CFLs, they tell you during the vegetation stage to stay with a super bright white. I'm sorry, I disagree with that. You need some soft light to help soften and help that growth and also it cuts down your stretching in the plants. If we look at our DWC EcoFlow Mini Cloner, look at this cloner. They've been in here for nine days. And let's go ahead and let's pull the top of this. We have on the front here, we have uh, two Thai basils cloning. And on the back side, well, we're not going to tell you what that is, but I'm sure you can tell what it is. So let's take a look at these clones. Look at these beautiful roots. And we're going we're gonna to transplant these this evening into this container right here. Now let's move on down and let's take a look at it. Bentley's Herb Garden, growing under the same light system. 100 watt, 100 watt. 2700K for one, 6500K for two. That's the secret, is mixing those two so you get that natural sunlight. And look at this, this is Bentley's Herb Garden. This is a dual system growing under one light. Cost of ownership is extremely inexpensive. In fact, what it costs to use this lighting system at 12, cent, 12 cents per kilowatt hour is only $1.99 a month. So per year, $23.85. This lighting system here, 99 cents per month. How would you like to clone for 99 cents per month? That is just phenomenal. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to step over to our ultimate grow system using CFLs. No other type of lighting, just strictly CFLs. And it's your choice if you want to use this technology or not, but we've literally pushed it to the limit. Now for larger plants, we're going to show you our ultimate setup. And what you want to do is you want to have your lights positioned differently so you don't have any shadows on your leaves. On top, we have a 10 and a half inch stem, 100 watt, 100 watt, 6500K, 2700K, 100 watt, 100 watt, 60 watt, 60 watt, and you can use 100 watt down here, 100 watt down here. 
Now, it's important during your vegetation stage, when your plant is just starting to grow, you want 6,500K bulb here, 6,500K bulb here. You want a 2,700K bulb here, 6,500K bulb here. And at the bottom will always remain 2,700K. You want it to emulate natural sunlight. When you're growing larger plants like this, what's nice is you can move these lights up or down how you see fit. So I guess the bottom line is if you're using CFLs to grow a large plant such as this and you're only using about 118 watts of electricity to achieve the final results. And look at this plant. It's super healthy. It's got beautiful trichomes up here. I mean, the plant is just doing fantastic. The key is you want to look at each leaf as a solar panel. So you want your lighting to hit evenly throughout your plant. In other words, you want penetration on the bottom, in the center, and on the top. That is going to give you your maximum growth, your maximum buds. It's going to give you plump, juicy buds. And this is really an 800-pound gorilla. I mean, look at the stem on this plant. And, you know, folks tell me when they grow with CFLs, oh, too much stretching, the stem is too thin. Look at this. It's literally an 800-pound gorilla. This plant's going to do really well. So we're just showing you how we utilize CFLs. And I'll tell you why I like the CFLs. They're a, a low-carbon footprint, and your cost of using these are extremely minimal. In fact, your cost per year is extremely minimal. Cost per month is extremely minimal. There's no other lighting system that you can utilize versus CFLs. You just need to learn and understand how to use CFLs. And that, that's how we do this. So we're going we're gonna, to uh, have uh, uh, plans on the website where you can set this system up and actually show you how to grow utilizing the CFLs. Again, I'm Wayne with ModularHydro.com. Thank you.